this is a question prepare accounting equation from the following hence uh, we have to draw accounting equation of dash dash serial number transactions assets is equal to capital plus liabilities after reading the question we got the asset like cash stock debtors capital and creditors we have to write down rupee for adian symbol below these items first one is started business with cash 1 lakh hence cash will be increased by 1 lakh capital will be increased by 1 lakh second transaction purchased goods for cash 20000 on credit 30000 total purchase is 50000 and cash will be reduced by 20000 Total stock will be increased for total purchases by fifty thousand, and creditors will be increased by thirty thousand. And new equation will be rupees eighty thousand cash, stock rupees fifty thousand, capital rupees one lakh, creditors rupees thirty thousand. Third one will be sold goods for cash costing ten thousand. And on credit fifteen thousand, but at a profit of twenty percent. Hence, sold goods for cash and credit. Ten thousand cost goods sold at a twenty percent profit for cash. Ten thousand plus twenty percent of this is two thousand. Ten plus two, hence R two cash rupees twelve thousand. And minus from stock. Cost of goods sold that is ten thousand and fifteen thousand is equal to twenty five thousand. And R to debtors the credit sales fifty thousand worth goods sold at a profit of ten percent twenty percent fifteen thousand plus twenty percent of fifteen thousand is three thousand fifteen thousand plus three thousand eighteen thousand will be added to stock. Hence thirty thousand minus twenty five thousand. Is equal to five thousand is the profit which will, which will be added to capital. Then we will be getting our new equation. Then fourth adjustment, fourth transaction paid salary it is an expenditure deduct from cash and capital. Expenditure reduces cash as well as capital in the liabilities side. That is minus from cash rupees eight thousand minus from capital rupees eight thousand. The new equation will be rupees eighty four thousand for cash and rupees twenty five thousand for stock. Debtors rupees eighteen thousand, capital rupees ninety seven thousand, and creditors rupees thirty thousand. And this is the final answer.